Hey everybody, today is Tuesday. It is April the 14th and for today our goal will be to make some artwork using digital tools. So we'll be making digital artwork and learning to upload that into our digital portfolio. Also something that was unexpected that we came across yesterday. Um, for this week, like I mentioned yesterday, we will be using different websites to make artwork with some of us on our computers yesterday for the quick draw with Google AI, we were blocked from that site. And I tried to contact our school's IT specialist and he is not able to unblock websites for us um, if you are blocked from using certain websites. So let me know for today if the website that I've linked in the assignment does not work for you because we'll need to figure something out if you're blocked from this, from that website. Um, same goes for other websites this week that we'll need to use to make artwork on. Let me know if it doesn't work for you so that we can figure something else out. All right, so I'm gonna show you what we are going to be using to make some digital artwork today. Um, I'll make some artwork for you and I'll show you how I'm going to upload it into my digital portfolio. Let's check it out. Hey everybody, here is the site autodraw.com. When you click on the link, it'll take you to this page and you're going to come here and click start drawing. Or if you want to see the fast how-to, you can do that too. But here's my how-to, right? So you start off, you've already got a pencil tool. Your color choices are here. I'm going to stick with blue. Um, you just click and drag to start drawing something. And then the magical thing about this is it guesses what you were trying to draw or just kind of gives you a bunch of different options about things that maybe sort of look like what the shape is that you started to draw. So I'm gonna go here and use one of these things, maybe this potato looking thing. Um, so there's my first thing. Maybe I'll switch over here and use a different color. I'm gonna use green this time. I'm gonna start another little drawing here, just kind of a random shape and it's gonna give me some other options of what this might be, right? So maybe I want it to be this triple scoop of ice cream. Um, I can fill in using the fill tool. Let's give it a purple cone, and maybe I like just orange ice cream. That looks cool. Okay, and let's try something else with the auto draw tool. This is just a regular draw tool that won't um, give you a pre-made thing and make a little squiggle and I've got some more suggestions about what that is. Um, how about a mountain? I'm going to drag my mountain towards the bottom of my page by using the select tool over here and I'm going to drag it. This one can go there. Come back to the auto draw tool. Let's drag the squirrel maybe over here somewhere. Oop, I clicked it twice, so I've got two of them. If you click on the circle, you can rotate. Well, I clicked on it more than once, so I've got a lot of different boxer people. And if you change the color while you have something selected, it'll change the color of that. So let me change the color of one of these people. Make one of those purple. I like ducks. They're fun. And my seahorse, I'm going to change the size of it. Make a tiny little seahorse. And bring my seahorse. Whoa. All right. Or you can stretch it out. Didn't mean to do that, but I'm going to roll with it. Put my seahorse over here. I'm going to fill in my background color. Um, in I'm going to make it hot, hot pink. Boom. That's pretty cool. All right, so once you're finished with your artwork, you're going to come over to download. 
Um, it's going to let you download. I'm on a Mac, so my save window looks like this. That's going to save to my downloads. And then I would like you to up upload whatever artwork. You can make more than one. Feel free to do that. Um, upload it to your digital portfolio. To upload to your digital portfolio, there's uh, something that you need to do. Okay, you're going to need to come to yesterday's post, the digital portfolio assignment. Click on it. Your work should be here where you submitted your Google Slides work. You should have uh, clicked this button, which before you turned it in, it said Mark is done. But today it says unsubmit because you've already turned in your portfolio yesterday so that I could see it. Today, before you add something to it, you're going to need to click unsubmit. And it says unsubmit to add or to add or change attachments. Don't forget to resubmit once you're done. Okay, so to add changes to our portfolio, we're going to unsubmit it. And then you'll click on it. If you don't unsubmit, it will not let you make changes to it. So unsubmit and then click back on it. It'll bring you back over to your digital portfolio. Here's mine where I have uh, my title page and then I made a couple of extra slides yesterday. You can drag and drop the file from your computer. Um, so on my downloads, I've got my auto draw here. I can just drag it and drop it on there. Or I can come over to this button, which is insert image or here, insert image, upload from computer. It automatically saved mine as auto draw. So I'm going to open that. And then there it is. And then I'm just going to drag it so that it's centered. If you drag it to the center, it'll show you this little red line that shows you that it's in the middle of your page. I'm going to title it auto draw. You can have a different title if you want. Maybe I can call this one. You also write auto draw to help you remember how you made it. Something like that. Um, once you're finished, uh, this is saving my work. All right, so once all of your changes are saved in Drive, you can close out of that portfolio window and then come back to the digital portfolio page. And then here's my slides that I just edited. Since I just added my work from the auto draw, I can now turn it in again with the changes that I just made to it. And I'll be ready to go for today. All right, I hope you guys have fun with AutoDraw. I hope you have good luck adding everything to your digital portfolio. I'll be here to help. Uh, just send me a comment. Let me know how things are going if you're having any trouble. All right, I look forward to seeing all of your crazy drawings from AutoDrawing. Have fun.